And not just any meal. I want those nice red potatoes and make sure you um mm-hmm. you garnish it and, and I need the steak cooked just so. And and man, if you don't if you don't eat this pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make I'll make you go. I'll make one step further. This is how the, the dynamics of it is. If I go downstairs and did that, exactly what Thea said. Four course meal, salad, bread, sticks, the steak, the dessert, candlelight dinner, and everything like that. Foxy will cuss me out from one side of the room. What were you doing on your ankle? What the hell are you doing? Well, honey, I gave you a nice meal. I could have ate McDonald's. I don't even know how far you have put the recovery of your ankle. This is one meal now, folks. One meal. So now I got to deal with your side behind an extra week. Yeah, I don't know what the recovery of your <laughs> ankle is now because you stood up on your feet cooking like your damn, like this is Longhorn Steakhouse. No, Thiers, there will not be an argument. Oh, no, nah, that'd have been a fight. Ain't. That'd have been a fight, bro. That'd have been a fight. I, I, at I'm that not point, fight my... with you. Woo. Here's the deal. This is how I dictate an argument. A dictator argument is you got a good, at the very least with me, an argument is a 75, 25% chance. I'm always going to think I'm right, but you got a 25% chance. And we're going to argue back and forth to see if we can move that scale. Dude, there's a 100% chance I'm not getting in that damn kitchen cooking on a hurt ass damn ankle. You can yell till you break wallpaper. Ain't. But you love her. <laughs> Ain't. Anything that's going to come out your mouth is going to get the same result. No. Not finna yeah, it's, 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 that's, that's just wild to me, man. And then and then on top of that, like, I remember when, I mean, I had it, my ankle. Well, I lived alone at that time, so that story don't make no sense. Never mind. But anyway, <laughs> I just can't imagine this scenario. And then I'm also... Now, this might just be my family, and the rest of y'all do so much better, and I'm proud of you. I'm so, 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 so proud. Oh, uh, home-cooked meal. Yo, that shit ain't happening every day, Jack. Uh, that ain't... <laughs> Not every day. We busy. We busy. It ain't happening. You know what, you what I'm saying? Get, you might get a home-cooked home meal. Food. with. Mm-mm. I need to. I need to get back on that. That's why I got so chubby. No, no, but, no. We, we will get home cooked meals, but best believe there's going to be some um, reheating going on for a couple of days before we get to the next home cooked meal. Because no, I'm sitting here looking at uh, four courses and roasted this and roasted that. I'm, I'm, no, hey, y'all. Here's some mac and cheese. I made you some chicken. Uh, who want hot dog? Who want hot dog? I'm going to go ahead and get you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I got to step my game up, apparently, because groceries cost too much. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just a little hurtful. <laughs> you want to, we do get home cooked meals. About to on turn the, my family into weekend. some vegetarian. No, on the weekend. When we know we ain't that busy. And look, you got a good chance that that ain't even going to happen, too, because we don't know what the definition of busy is on that weekend. If we have, like, a whole bunch of stuff to do on the weekend, in plenty of times, Foxy has told me, you better grab you a burger on the way home because I'm not cooking. And you know what my statement is? Okay. okay. Do I need to get anybody else anything? Yeah. Do you need something? <laughs> Now, see, this is what you do, though, guys. Come in a little closer. This is what you do. So what happens is when you're a little short on cash or you really don't feel like driving all the way around town, you go, hey, do you want something from Wendy's? No, your wife don't like Wendy's. They're going to say no. Okay. Keep your mouth shut, get your stuff, and go home. 
Here's what you make the mistake of. Hey, do you want something to eat? Where are you going? You are fucked up from that point on. Man, you, sir, have just laid out a plan that is okay. But that, sir, is like level two. I'm going to take y'all to level seven. Here's what you do. It costs a lot to feed these people. Okay? I got four people in my house counting me. That means anywhere you go to pick up food, at minimum, is going to be $45 to $50. So I like to eat. My meal, if I'm just feeding me, are about $10 or $12. But that won't be the same food that I would have to get if I'm feeding the whole Robinson Army. So here's what you do, fellas. You go get the food you want and then go to the park. Park your car. Crack your windows. You, keep, you can have the air on. Crack your window. Eat your food. Throw the food away at the park. Drive back home with the windows open. Right? So you can get most of the food smell out the car. Then go home and then say, Woo, you must have worked late. No, nah, I just had to make an extra stop on the way on the way home. Cause you don't lie to them. I just had to make an extra stop on the way home. Well, they ain't nothing here to eat. That's okay. I ate a big lunch earlier. <laughs> Level seven. <laughs> and I ain't telling on nothing because my wife know. My wife knows I, I sometimes I go hide and eat. <laughs> Y'all ass gonna be a divorce court. Don't listen to tears. Don't listen to tears. How? Huh. Cause you go. Cause one of y'all gonna fuck up and leave that ketchup packets right there in the console or something. You gonna do something stupid like you gonna leave the napkin yeah. that got the big M on it from McDonald's, and you had no reason to have them napkins in it. You go, you don't. That's why you don't lie. You just, you just don't do you it. You just gotta be, you know. And my kids will can smell a damn McDonald's Big Mac from. <laughs> I don't know what's up with these kids, man. They hey, like that. Mm-hmm. I, they come home from hell. school and be like, hey, dad, what you eat today? Why you asking? <laughs> they will. Mine, look, mine has done it to me. I'm not I'm not hungry right now. You know, I went to KFC, didn't you? Mm-hmm. You know Mama, daddy had I food. I smell the grease from here. What do you mean how I know? <laughs> Smell the damn grease from here. You always get the two damn pieces. I know what man don't y'all that level seven gonna have you a level divorce. Y'all don't man, that ain't gonna get you no divorce. (laughs) That ain't gonna get you no divorce. divorce. Fellas, that ain't gonna get you no divorce. That's gonna get you the major side eye. Oh yeah. Yeah. But it ain't gonna get you no divorce. It ain't gonna get you a divorce. But understand, understand, guys, and ladies, if you play this game. Everything you do, if you are altering the standard rules of engagement, the other person will react. And you don't get to choose the reaction. That's how it is in all things in life. You choose your actions, they choose the reaction. So then you can't be mad if she's the one who does the grocery shopping and all of a sudden she come back with ice cream and cake. And you don't even like it. You you got bad diabetes. You can't even eat that stuff. But she go and get all that. And the thing that you really want, the thing you know she always bring you, all of a sudden don't show up in the house no more. That's your fault. <laughs> so govern yourselves accordingly. If you level two, stay at level two. Don't come up here at level seven if you ain't ready. Stay at level two. <laughs> that is our first hour. <laughs>